I've spent the last couple days using the Acer Chromebook 514 as my main device and I have some thoughts. But before I get into those thoughts, this video is brought to you by NordVPN. It is the VPN of choice for millions and millions of users that want to browse the internet in privacy. And if you are one of those and would like to do so on your Chromebook or any of your devices, visit chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN to check them out and get started today. So you can probably tell from the intro that I'm just not 100% sold on this device yet. And I'm gonna to get to why, but I wanna talk about the things I like about it first. So. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that I like about it. There's a, a really uh, great build quality. There's good battery life. There's backlit keys, uh, Gorilla Glass trackpad, uh, slim bezels on the sides. There's just a lot of stuff I like about this device and that looks really, really good on a spec sheet. The, the battery life is really good. I'm seeing 10 plus hours on it. Uh, I think Acer says 12 and I could see where keeping your screen brightness in check, you could get to that. I like the port selection. There's a USB-C and a USB-A on both sides. So kind of flexible wherever you need them. There's just a lot of stuff to like here. And you know, when you look at the device on the table, it looks really good. It doesn't collect fingerprints like crazy. Uh, when you crack it open and see the backlit keys, those look nice. The travel feels good on them. Uh, the clickiness could be a little better, but in general, it's not too bad. Uh, the click mechanism on the trackpad, that feels pretty good too. And it's all Gorilla Glass. And you can tell as you move your gestures and move the trackpad around, it just feels really good. It, it feels good to work on in general, like in, in those kind of mechanical ways. Um, but there's things that I just don't really love about it. And one of those is the screen. And for a lot of people, um, having a screen that has uh, anti-glare coating on it is a big win. A lot of people love that. Um, I'm, I'm not one of those people, but I work in an office a lot. So if you're one of those people, maybe this isn't a con for you at all. But for me, that, that coating kind of steals away some of the vibrancy of the screen. And so colors look a little bit more muted. The, the viewing angles are fine but colors look a little more muted and there's a, just a slight haze look to the screen. So it's the same 1080p resolution that we've seen on the X360 from HP, the, the Dell uh, Inspiron 14. So there shouldn't be any difference in like the clarity and the crispness of the image, but there is here. Uh, and I think that's part of just the anti-glare coating that goes on the screen. It also means it's not a glass screen and the protection part, you know, around the screen isn't uh, isn't aluminum either. So it looks like aluminum. It's plastic though, uh, and so some of those parts just I don't know. They just kind of cheapen the experience of using it. And while I've listed all these things that are great about it, one of the problems is this device comes in at five hundred dollars. And while that might not sound like a ton of money for a you know a, a laptop in general. For a Chromebook, $500 is getting us into the point where we should be seeing some pretty nice uh, hardware in general, and we've seen that. So the X360 from HP that I just mentioned uh, drops down to $450 a lot. The Dell Inspiron 14 uh, can drop into the $450, $500 range, and those are really, really nice Chromebooks that also provide the experience of using a nice piece of hardware. For some reason, so far with this device, as I'm using it, it feels like a nicer version of a budget Chromebook. And some of that stuff, you know, sometimes we don't get into huge details about everything and get down and put everything under a microscope. There, there's a reason we do that. I wanna to try to convey to you guys what it's like to use these devices in real life. And in real life using this device, I know you may be looking at the spec sheet and going, man, glass trackpad, backlit keys, aluminum build quality, 1080p screen. These things all look great. This thing should be awesome. There's just something about it that just doesn't feel like it matches the price tag at this point for me. And who knows? Uh, and in the next few weeks, it could go on sale or something. Um, and we could just see it dropping down into the $350 or $400 range. And maybe at that price, I would just feel so much different about it. And who knows? Uh, in a couple weeks after we've spent time with it and do a review, maybe I'll feel different about it. Maybe, maybe it'll change my mind. I'm not sure. But right now, even though it's got all these nice things that, that really uh, fill out the spec sheet, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it at this point. And I just want to be honest with you guys when I use a device, when it's just not working for me, this one's just not working for me at this point, but I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep doing my normal job with it. I'm going to keep writing articles with it. I'm going to keep doing web design with it. 
the stuff I normally would do. And while I'm talking about that, the, the processor in this thing, the N4200, the one we're reviewing, uh, has been getting along pretty well. So I know some of you will be kind of questioning that. I don't know if I can recommend the Apollo Lake, the 3450 version of this device, as it comes with four gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. I don't know that it would get along very well, and it's 400 bucks. And so again, those are some high premiums to pay for devices that uh, only have so-so performance. But I want to spend some more time with this thing. I want to make sure that as we deliver the review, the full review to you guys, that it's not just based on, eh, I don't feel like I like this, but instead it's based on, you know, more facts and more things that I've gathered, uh, spending time with it. But for right now, I don't know, I'm just not sure with this one. But that's it for this one, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and until next time, we'll see you.